How's it going, everyone? My name is Gad, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we took on Divine Beast Vamado, and today we will be heading into the Gerudo Desert. So I started us at the Outland Stable there. Outskirt Stable, I believe, actually. So now we have to go into this valley. I... It's really reminiscent of the area that's like it from Ocarina of Time, although I forget what that was called. So... I, oh... Okay, I just remembered. It was literally called Gerudo Valley. Okay, I'm stupid. Now, I do believe there's actually a Hinox down here. Yes, there is. Okay, then. Um... Why not take it on, actually? Here we go. Uh, what arrows do we have? Okay. Uh, let's actually run away from this for a second. Um, line up. Okay, um, almost dead already. Okay, uh, he does not want us to hit him. Let's just run away for a quick moment. Okay, we did some damage. Negligible, but... I mean, I'll take it. Okay, yeah, still nothing. So you need to get shots in, like, really quick. Wait, if we actually switch up to the Falcon, though. Okay, he's dead. Sweet. Six more arrows did the trick. Um, good thing is it gives us quite the sweet loadout. Moonlight Scimitar, perfect. Soldier Spear, perfect. Bunch of food. There we go. Hinox Tooth. Roasted Hardy Bass. Hinox Guts. Roasted Porgy. Hinox Tooth. Oh, crap. Um, It actually wants to kill us right now. You know what, we can actually drop the Korok Leaf and stuff. Let's drop that. Let's also drop this. And it should probably eat some of that food we just got to restore our health. Um, yes, it does a pretty nice job. Sort the inventory. Oh crap, uh, I'm actually gonna die there. Okay, sweet. Now we won't get electrocuted or anything. Let's hop right back up, uh, up on our horse and continue into the valley. <clears throat> so that was actually a pretty lame fight with the Hinox. Usually they last longer, but since... We like for once I'm actually using the champion weapons. Like my main file, they're all just sitting in the player. Oh my god. They're all just sitting in the player house. We should actually pull out the ice rod here. To defend ourselves. 
Oh, sweet. We can actually pull out proper weapons now. Let's go for the... Actually, let's switch to the feathered edge for now. And hope not to get pegged by one of these stray arrows. Shrine nearby. Alright, just continuing down the desert path. Alright, so we're still being chased by the... Oh god. Go down with the buckos or... Do not care. It seems the black buckle one does not care anymore, so I'll take that any day of the week. Up. Uh, Shouldn't have done that. Just keep patting down the horse like, come on, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so there's some more bogos down there. This is literally a matter of smashing L and A from time to time. Because, okay, I don't need to smash L anymore. But, these horses can actually be so hard to control sometimes. It's actually somewhat ridiculous. The horseback combat in this game is pretty sweet, though. It really gets the time to shine later on. Wait, actually, how far are we from... Yeah, I'm not going to talk to that guy right now. Because he'd want us to give up our horse for 200 rupees. Which I really don't feel like doing. Because why would you want to do that? I mean, I always I had the Smash Bros. Link amiibo, so if I really wanted to, I could just spawn an Epona and get a new horse, but... Ain't much of a point to that, currently. Jumps over something where there's nothing to jump over. IQ 1000. I need magnesis on these. Okay, yeah, there's something to use magnesis on. Wouldn't be a big deal if you weren't coming on horseback, but since we are, may as well. Okay, I just caused more problems than I solved. That's always great. Um. I got down there, pushed all these out. Uh, don't. So we made a barricade there. Right, that should be enough room for us to slip through. On Dusty. Okay. Dusty, you need to cooperate with me here. Forward. And we're through. Perfect. I never had any doubts. Um. Yeah, I believe the valley ends down here. I've always been surprised they didn't put weasels or anything in this area. As I see it, opportunity missed, but whatever. Shrine nearby, sweet. Um, there's a bug selling guy right there. What's, what's that? Yes, boy. Rudo Scimitar. Oh, sweet. Um. Oh, this is pretty much useless. Sweet. Now we have a good scimitar. So we got pretty good weapons heading into this portion of the game. Final dungeon of the game, believe it or not. There's only four. Which is strange, but what can you do about it?
Kano Shrine. Let's run in. Skip that. And... Okay then, loading screen. How fun. 18 shrines completed. Sorry, pretty much just woke up. Power of electricity. Oh, I remember this. It's just another one of those intro shrines for the area, because this whole thing, this next dungeon actually revolves around electricity. Alright, lock door. Does it go both directions? Yes, it does. Um... Oh. Okay then. Actually, wait, I can just jump down and smack it. Yep. Much easier. There we go. Take the arrow, let's pick this up. <laughs> Heavy, I see. Apparently. This thing is like the exact size as him if you look at it I think Link's only like five foot four in this game so he's pretty short Let's grab that small key sweet Unlock this. Oh, this one actually is going to take some damage. That should kill it. Yep. Ooh, guardian sword. Um. What's the weakest weapon? The tort. I never use the ice rod, so it can go. Guardian sword, sweet. Push that to its very limit. Sweet. Okay. I say sweet a lot, apparently. Oh, uh, it needs to stay in that position. Okay. You think it would just be good to go because water, electricity, but whatever. Tap on that. Alright, buddy, I get it. Let's grab Spirit Orb Sweet. Okay, I need to stop saying sweet. 88 rupees to our name. Probably could use more rupees. Getting rupees in this game isn't hard. I just haven't been doing the necessary grinding. Because all it really takes is some arrows. Like I, I have like 20k on my main file. Which is going to be what I'm playing through the DLCs on. Because I've never finished the DLC, so. Alright then. Down to the stable. There we go. Rudo Canyon. Okay, now just waiting on our horse. But I'm not sure if horses can go into the sand region. And let's actually see if there's anything. Oh crap, because we need rupees yeah. later. Not too far, actually. Oh, ancient arrow, sweet. Call ancient tech lab, old Robbie. Mad scientist is kind of cool. Uh, if you use strong weapons, uh, yeah, whatever. Alright, hopefully we can sell some stuff. We don't have much in the way to sell, but... Actually, wait, if we sell all our... All our goodies here that we got from killing monsters... 
it might end up being enough. We can also sell the guardian parts too, because I'm never we're never gonna use those. Those aren't worth anything, so no point in selling those. Um Octa Rock Eyeball were twenty-five. Pretty good. Sell the keys eyeball. Damn, this guy really likes eyes. Ten on the tentacle. Wings. Take these wings. Ice key swing. You can have that too. Oh, crap. You can have this. Oh, key swing's only worth two rupees. Oh, crap. That's going to be worth 140 for all time. 14, actually. 100. Okay. Apparently, I'm delusional. So, what I said it was, I just did my math wrong. And he's all talon. Sweet. 210. I believe the person that we need to give rupees to up in this next section expects a cool 600. That should be 200 rupees. Yeah. 200, sweet. We're from 88 to 973. Uh, let's sell the rest of our monster parts too. 55 Boko horns. Wow! Okay, so that's a lot of Boko horns. Sell the flint. The opal can go too. Yay! I really wish you could like speed up the whole selling pieces. Three hundred rupees for that, sweet. <laughs> well, we now have fifteen hundred rupees. You know what I meant to do? Um, I'm gonna sell all of them, not one of them. There you go. Wow. One fifty, sweet. Sell the mobos. Rupees, I'll take it. Pretty good money for these two. 20 rupees per Boko gut. 140. Sweet Boko Fangs. You can have all of those. 248 rupees. There you go. Um Let's actually sell all the guardian parts because these are gonna be useless to us. We don't need to make any ancient weapons this playthrough, so. May as well just boost up to as many rupees as we can possibly get. This guy, he's pretty. Beetle's actually pretty sweet in this game. Like, the way he travels around and stuff. But I still think he's the best in Skyward Sword, where he literally kicks you out. If you, do, if you don't buy anything, he drops you out of his flying airship, which is pretty funny. 320, okay. So we broke 3k rupees from being 88. Alright then. We should have no problem getting the stuff that we need to at this next stop. Will my horse go into the Rudo Desert? No. Wait, maybe. I don't think horses are supposed to be able to... I think there's actually a horse boundary that they can't go past here, yeah. Okay, so there's literally an invisible boundary. That makes it so you can't do what I just tried to do. Interesting, very interesting. And I'm losing stamina quick. Wait, am I actually going to overheat? I hope not. Let's just run along here. Got some nice chill music. Alright then. Up. Recharge. Recharge, recharge. And there we go. The next divine beast on the docket. Yikes. That is 
this one. Ugly mofo. Okay then. We get it. You don't need to give literally a whole minute of context. It's understandable in less than one. Alright then. This whole area here actually reminds me a lot of Stros Mackay from Elder Scrolls. Karakara Bazaar. I actually did a bunch of stuff on Stros Mackay in my ESO series. Oh, not what I meant to do. How'd he get here, too? I swear, there, like, there's easily eight beetles on the map, considering apparently they can be everywhere at once. Oh, crap, another Gerudo Scimitar. I will take that any day of the week. Let's get rid of the spear. Actually, we don't need a torch. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the Mobo spear. Switch out for the Scimitar. Okay then, there's nothing really to do here just yet, oh crap a double blade, double battle axe, sort of useless to us right now, um, 6.55pm, okay then, uh, if we actually use Revali's Gale, <laughs> We should be able to clear some decent ground. Yeah, okay, sweet. So I don't believe sand seals are out this late. I'm probably completely wrong on that, but... Let's actually grab the fruits on this. Grab the volt fruits. I hate how slow you move, though. No thanks, Mr. Liesel. I am more than good. Alright then, Gerudo Town. The next site of the next dungeon. And everything around... This is the hardest dungeon in the game. That's why I saved it for last. Because when you take this on, you want to beef up your hearts a bit. I mean... Currently, we only have like 10. Hey! Yeah, 10 hearts. We're one spirit orb away from 11. Yeah, my calcs, my calculations were right there. Alright, this one is quite a pain in the butt, so I'll cut this out. Alright then, so let's talk with this guy. Oh. Oh, I was focused just now. Do you have business with me? Are you spying? What? N no, I'm not a spy. I'm a merchant. I may not look like it, but I'm actually the leader of a caravan. I've traveled all the way here, but this town doesn't allow men to go in. So, that's why I, uh, had to, um... Are you spying? It's research! Research! And think what... And think what you want, but I finally found some key info on how to sneak into Gerudo Town. What info? Oh. <laughs> well, allow me to share with you my heroic tale. It's been close to a week now. The guards have kicked me out more times than I can oh. count. I almost gave up hope. However, I have learned only recently of a man that slipped into this well-guarded town. I hear the man is frequently traveling between Karakara Bazaar and Gerudo Town. I've been waiting here, trying to spot him as he travels. Alright then. Forbidden City Entry. Luckily, he did say the guy was at Karakara Bazaar. Uh, uh, good thing we have the Rito armor. That's another reason why I did this first. So now we'll be protected by from the coldest it can get in the desert. Which is pretty nice protection. Alright, so we just need to head back to Kara Kara. Wait. Oh, I still have this pinned. I'll unpin that. 
that's the area where Rito is. And we're done with Rito Village, so that whole section is completely done with it. There is not a single more more uses for it. And Stall Weasel. Dead. Sweet. Bees alarm. Don't need that. But we'll take what it leaves. Oh yeah, I got a Thunderblade. <laughs> Probably should have mentioned that. Rivali's Gale is now ready. What's in here? Okay, just more weasels. And I don't want to fight them, so. Out of stamina. One bar is sort of annoying, but you really don't need much. Like, it's really not a big deal if you don't have much stamina in this game, because stamina is sort of... Unless you want to do a bunch of the slow motion archery stuff, there ain't much of a use for it. Keep going, Link. This is kind of redundant. Okay, there we go. We're slowly moving. Sweet. Alright. So this guy in Kara Kara Bazaar wants us, well not in that way, but he wants, well, he doesn't want, he just, he's just up here, so. Alright then. I'd say this dungeon has the lengthiest build up, and it is probably the... Yeah, it's definitely the most challenging, not the most fun. Hi. So let's talk to Vilia. Oh my, what a young, lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? Mm -hmm. Explain the situation. What's that? You've heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry, I couldn't be of more help. Squints suspiciously. Mm. Weird asterisk. Pulls out meat scepter. <laughs> Hee hee, you're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. You're a man? Mm. Oh my. You sure say the funniest things, young man. Anyway, if you don't need anything, you should be off then. Mm. Okay, then uh, we need to redo that. You still haven't given up on your search for the man who's stuck in Gerudo Town. I told you I don't know anything. Study her face. Ah. Here, you're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. You're very beautiful. Mm. I guess we have to say that. Oh, such a nice thing to say. And Okay, there's our rupee tab. <laughs> and I'm sure you'd agree that these... Clothes only help me help my looks, right? Now that I think about it, the style would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600 rupees? I'll take them. Mm. There's no other way. It's a deal, then. I'll, I'll take your rupees now. So we still oh. have tw oh, 24.99. Yikes. Hee <laughs> hee, I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry, I'll look away. It's hideous. No. No. <gasps> Literally anyone who thought Link would look good mm. as a girl, reconsider, please. Ah, he he he. Just as I thought, you make for quite a good looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. Such a striking look around here, I doubt anyone would even suspect that you're a dude. On top of that, it breathes so well that it's sure to help you deal with the desert heat at least a little. Ah. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. <laughs> if you're free to grab something to eat, keep me in mind. Oh god, no thank you. <laughs> the beard. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> Make sure you watch out for the wind. <laughs> Face palm, I love that. If you want to get more ladies clothing, come back anytime. I don't want any more, thank you. I don't want what I already have. Much less more of it. It's funny because these people complete, can treat you completely differently now. Yeah. Okay, so that's sort of useless. That guy's not interested. Let's go till morning. Alright then. 5 a.m. wake up call, Linky. Or Linkle. Crap, he's actually Linkle now. 
How do I change him back? So, luckily we can now actually get into Gerudo Town. Uh, normally there's sand seals around here. I guess not right now. Let's actually go up. Revolve's Gale is pretty much the quickest way to get through this s section. I mean, you end up using all of them, but... I'd say it's worth it. I'm gonna recharge. <laughs> Round two. Revolve's animation, though, when he swirls around you like that is actually pretty neat. Um. All right then. Final use of the gale. There we go. We're home free then. All right then. Now we just need to walk in through the gates, and there are the sand seals, of course. So, wearing dude's clothing, you can't actually walk through these gates as they'll kick you out, but that's sort of a waste of time, so I'm just going to walk right through. Perfect. Forbidden City entry complete. Can't stop me now. First off, I want to find the goddess statue. Oh, I believe it's actually up the side of the east wall. It's somewhere around this region. Yeah, here it is. Pray, give me another heart container. Sweet. More heart containers. Alright, 11 hearts. Yep. Go and seal, go and bring a piece of iron. Okay, so we got the eleventh heart container. We're probably gonna finish up with only like thirteen hearts. Yeah, that sounds accurate. Thirteen hearts. Thirteen hearts of kingdom hearts. <laughs> All right then. Riju, the Gerudo chief. The girl in charge. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. How do you think I got in for one? I walked through the front gate. And two, Sheikah slates are overrated. Huh? You stand before Lady Riju, chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Bulyra. I don't know. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there. What is your name? Uh. Link. And you've come all the way here to tell me what, Link? I can calm Naboris. Uh. You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could ever control the them were champions like Lady Urbosa. And all the champions died in Calamity a hundred years ago. Pretty much the same story as the previous four regions. Hmm. Hmm. Bulyra. A memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the Calamity happened, the Prince of the Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link. Though it always seemed more legend than fact. But Lady Riju, do those same stories... Not also say that a Hylian champion carried a legendary sword. Shut up about the master sword, okay? I see no such weapon in this person's care. Hmm. They do indeed, if I recall correctly. It was called the sword that seals the darkness, the master sword. And the princess of Hyrule supposedly hid it away in the lost woods. Hmm. What are the device on this one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable as a simple drifter, can you? Hmm. I do not remember it ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Huh? Wait a moment. You're a Vo! <laughs> a Vo within our walls is a great crime, but a Vo who is a champion. 
Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa, and if you're here to help us with Naboris, then we are allies. So, Vi means woman in Gerudo, and Vo means male, just for the... Just for context. Mm. You saw on your way to town. Divine Beast Vi Naboris. Cloaked in a divine... Ma cloaked in a massive sandstorm, not divine. Hurling lightning at any who dare approach. Mm. We have to do something to stop it, but we have yet to find any... Any way to appease the divine beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter Naboris and Comet's anger. Mm. Lady Riju, I do not see how we can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps this person were first to prove their, his worth by recovering your stolen Thunderhelm. Mm. Uh, yes, an interesting suggestion. You see, there's only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Naboris. The Thunderhelm, a family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo, but as Belyrus says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju, if he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Oh. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through the Ark, it will lead you to the barracks, then seek out Captain Take and, and ask for a full report. Mm. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. <laughs> hey, you know... I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself, Lazy Urbosa must be looking out for me. Alright then. Let's go talk to the palace guard. What are you doing here? This is the barrack for the chief's guard. It's not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert from the recent theft, so you should clear out. What? The liar sent you? My apologies, I'm the officer in charge of the soldiers, Captain Take. The chief's heirloom was stolen by the thieves belonging to the Yiga clan the other day, so everyone is on edge. Mm. We've determined that the Yiga's hideout is in Kerusa Valley, but the soldiers are all exhausted, so I was thinking about requesting some extra help. Oh. Hey, everyone, listen up! This Hylian Vi has agreed to help us, so offer any information you can. Oh. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops would be happy to help. Alright then. I have zero questions. So yeah, it gives us our objective, Carusa Valley. It's actually... Yeah, that's actually for... That's actually on the same northern axis as where we started out this episode outside the outskirts stable so it's a pretty good ride by sand seal oh okay so close yet so far damn it okay now we're good up up we're good sweet up here Um, so we're just gonna grab one of these sand seals here. Oh god, we're actually making pretty loud noises. Hopefully we can still grab this one. Crap. Perfect. No! No! How dare you! There we go. Carusa Valley, here we go. Let's keep going fast. I'd like to know how these guys function. But, I mean, the chance of them telling me is slim to none. As they're seals. Chances that the war makes sense is also very low. Okay, we actually need to go over this way. Stay within the wasteland. This is called. Um. Oh crap. Um. Crap. Well, we're walking the rest of the way. 
That's all I can guarantee. Damn, that's annoying. Faster, Link. Come on, Rivali. Please recharge so I can actually get there in good time. Okay, recharge. Forward march. Um. Faster. Faster. Move. Up, oh, we're moving. Okay, then. Next bit. Okay, this should get us to the entry point. I'll drop some meat. Sweet. I will take those robber drumsticks. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have a bit more walking to do. Crap. Oh, sweet chest. Up you come. Sweet. Fire arrows, I'll take those. Alright, so we have like 20 arrows in total. Alright, so... One thing that... Up here... Okay, I believe they actually provide us with what we need. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I know in one area they do, but... The rest I'm not 100% sure. I could probably take on one of the big egas though. Koga on the other hand. Rivali's Gale is now ready. The plot thickens. Um Let's keep moving. Boulders, boulders. No thank you. Don't want to deal with those. The last things I want to deal with. Alright, so we're about to have used this nine times in one episode. Rivali is now a prominent character, as his ability is literally the best out of any of them. Getting an updraft like that when you normally have to like the grass on fire is so useful. Oh, sh Shizer. Please don't crush me. Okay, we got the electric Safflina. This is a treacherous pathway. It's a nice looking area though. So it reminds me of an area in Arizona. I think it's called Antelope Canyon. Yeah, the walls look a lot like that. It's cool. We got a Thunderblade. So if they mess with us, they get lightning. We need some more lightning. I like how it glows like actually through the thing. It's pretty neat. Oh crap, it's cold in this part. I can actually put on good stuff. Sweet, we're back to being male. Alright then. I believe the Yigas are actually going to attack us up here. Yep. Peg twice, okay. Naku. Duplex bow. Oh crap. Rupees. And mighty bananas. I love how literally their main drop is mighty bananas. 
It's awesome. There's no such thing as a better main drop than Mighty Bananas. Oh, uh, that's a lot of them. Um, yeah, let's actually stick with the Thunderblade for these. I really don't like how many hearts I'm moving. I'm, what, Daruk, why didn't you stop a single one of those? Thanks for nothing, Daruk. Alright, Apple Spree. Acorns. Okay, almost at full health. But, this is the entrance to the Gerudo hideout. So, with that, I will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a fantastic day.